Hello guys, my name is jean sébastien Charles, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial for Atavis on how to enable soft targeting and we'll have to make a small little C-sharp file but that's going to be really really easy to do so here we go so first what you want to do is get a crosshair so it can be any PNG you want I've put down in the video description below like a link where you can download uh, the cross I'm going to use, I'm going to put it on my website so I'm going to drag that in in one of the folder so let's go down, I think I have my folder, my image here so I'll just drag one in it's a 32 by 32 uh, first you want to click on it and make sure the alpha is transparency so I'll just click here and make an apply on that so now it looks good now we'll need to get into our main well, I'm already on that one you go to your main camera here and I've closed a couple of scripts but if you go to the Atavis third person input uh, make sure like values are about the same as mine uh, you cannot always fiddle with them when you're playing the scene and under here you have the SDE targeting script uh, if it's not in the list you'll have to add a component and just do the SDE targeting and just add that component to your to your inspector here so make sure you have soft target mode on and loose lock on so both have to be on to make it work correctly next what you want to do is open here the main camera go under UI and click add a component and we'll do a new so I'll call that my cross hair it can be whatever you want so just press enter and we'll do C sharp so create an add and then double click on it that should open uh, the mono develop okay so if you're not familiar this is where you can code some C sharp code I'll try to make it really really easy for you guys I'll explain a lot of what's going on so what we're gonna do first we're gonna say a public value and that's not good either and it's gonna be a public and we'll call it the texture 2d and actually it's already auto filled and space and I'm gonna call it the cross hair image so that's the variable where you're gonna drag the, the image just downloaded into uh, the inspector view next what we want to do we'll do a void function and we'll call it on GUI and open and close and then you have to do um, this semi thing like this then what you want to do is float x min sorry like this looks better equal uh, screen dot width divided by 2 minus my cross hair image I have already cross hair image dot width and this is also divided by 2 and press return after this uh, what we're doing right now is we're splitting the screen into so whatever resolution that person has as an X factor uh, the crosshair will always be in the center of the screen we'll do the same thing with the height of the screen so let's do another one so float and this one's gonna be the Y min equal screen dot and height divided by 2 minus my crosshair image that height divided by 2 and now what we want to do is we want to be able to draw that texture on screen so what we're going to use is the GUI that draw texture like this one and new and we 
going to say x min by y min and we're going to take our cross hair image uh, dot width sorry so and the cross hair image again dot height and that's your value from cross hair image and then we're gonna close this so let me make sure I didn't do any mistake there oh yeah sorry uh, it's a new and this is a rectangle sorry so new R-E-C-T yeah that looks better so that's gonna draw our image that we're gonna put in the crosshair in the middle in the rectangle with those coordinate so you just press Control S or just save your file and we can close Mono Develop. And if everything looks fine, in a couple of seconds I'll refresh. And here we have our crosshair image here. So what you'll want to do is get the PNG and just drag it in the screen like this and we can just do save we'll go to our scene and we'll try that I already made a bow uh, with a skill that shoots magic arrows no nothing fancy just to make sure it works and I've put two skeletons on the beach so that's a bow I took on the unity asset storage tree so as you can see I have now a crosshair in the middle of the screen and if I go towards the skeleton whenever I'm over it you can see like and if I attack him and I can go to the second one and try to attack it and this one back and this one and I guess I'm gonna die yeah well actually I just died because I was really bad at it but that gives you a basic idea how to use soft targeting so if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below in the comment section. Once again, my name is Jean-Spécier Charles. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.